back to the channel. Today is a very exciting day because I did get to attend my first ever veterinary conference. And I'm super excited about the topic of this one and it's being held right here at SGU. It is the Novel Approaches Conference where we will be looking at managing livestock parasites. Because as most of you know who are in veterinary medicine, a lot of the drugs we currently have for the livestock parasites are currently no longer being useful. There's a lot of resistance to those drugs. So we're trying to come up with different practices on how to limit those parasites because it does impact the quality of the production of the animal. This conference originally started in Australia and every time this conference has been happening, it's been at different locations around the world. This conference hasn't happened for the past nine years. It's super exciting to get all these professionals together to help come up with some solutions to these problems in veterinary medicine. I am all ready to go to campus to sign in for the conference. Tonight we also are having a welcome reception. I'm not quite sure what that's going to entail since it's not really in the program, but it is a span of three days. We get to do some excursions at the uh, Belmont Estate. I'm hoping I can make it because unfortunately this conference did come around a bad time for the vet students here. It's during our midterm week, which isn't ideal, but that's okay. <laughs> I only have one more midterm to go, but I'm hoping that I finish the exam in time to look at some local farms, do the Belmont Estate, and just take a breather from class and studying after my midterms. Today was the first official day of the conference and it went really well. For the lectures today, we talked a lot about how to prevent parasites on farms using different methods other than drugs because a lot of the drugs that we're using currently are starting to not work anymore because the parasites are becoming resistant to it. So we're trying to limit how many parasites are on a farm. So we were talking a lot about refugia treatments, biological treatments, and genetic selection. And we're also trying to limit how much dewormers we give to animals but it was super interesting today. It was amazing. The food was great, but the lectures were definitely amazing. People are from all over the world in this conference and it's incredible. I'm one of like one or two students who have actually signed up to do this conference and everyone else is from all around the world. Like, we have people from New Zealand, Australia, we've got the Netherlands represented, Ireland, Scotland, and I'm sure there's so many others, but it's just incredible to see so many people from around the world come to this little island of Grenada to host a conference, and it's just been great. I can't wait to see what the next two days are going to be like, but I do have to get up early tomorrow to start the conference because it starts at eight o'clock in the morning and it goes until six. But we are going to dinner at the University Club tomorrow. We went to Dodgy Dock tonight and that was amazing. The sunset was beautiful tonight. So nice to get to talk to other people who are not necessarily in the veterinary medical field, but to see how they're actually helping out with the parasite problem in their country. I definitely feel like I made a great decision on making this conference my first one because parasites are so important to learn about as a veterinarian because we deal with it all the time. Thankfully at SGU we do have a course specifically to teach us about parasites, but I just wanted to go into more detail about that and it's just been a great start to the conference and I'm super excited to see what's going to happen next. I'm super excited for the lectures tomorrow and we have some posters being presented. I will try and show as much as I can. 
During day two of the conference, we got to learn about how modeling has really helped us figure out how the resistance is starting with the parasitic drugs and how to combat that with climate change increasing. And we also took some time and looked at all the different poster presentations. There were about 25 different posters being presented, and it was amazing to see what type of research is going on currently. During the second half of the day, we also learned about the pharmacodynamics of what's going on with the resistance. We also learned about how to do some diagnostics, about how the parasites are becoming resistant to the drugs we have. To end the day off, we also went to the university club, which was my second time ever going, and it was such a beautiful sunset, and it was such a great time to interact with people. I got to meet some amazing people on at this conference, and I couldn't be more grateful that I was given this opportunity to join this conference in Grenada. During day three, we went over how to do parasite control and also talked about how some companies have come out with vaccines that have been very beneficial in other parts of the world besides the U.S. The U.S. hasn't verified that the vaccines work yet, so I don't think it's being used in the states yet, but it could be soon. And then we also talked about some parasite issues that are arising in the tropics because since Grenada is a tropical island, we did spend a few lectures talking about that. And to end the conference, we talked about how to get farmers to agree with changing up how they manage their farms in a way to control the parasites, instead of always going straight for the parasitic drugs that are no longer working. On the fourth day of the conference, we didn't have any lectures. However, we did do a bunch of different excursions. We went to two local farms and we went to the Belmont Estate for lunch. And it was amazing just to see how the farmers work on the island of Grenada because I personally haven't gone out to the farms before, so it was very interesting and intriguing to learn how they do their operations here. We went to two farms that did goats and sheep. One of the farms also had honeybees as well, so it was very interesting to see where they located it. We got to see some of the trees and the spices on the island, which was really neat. We, I got to try some coconut water, and of course the Belmont Estate is the chocolate factory of the island, and it was amazing. I got myself a chocolate cake over lunch, and it was phenomenal. The tour itself was very informational, and I did end up buying some chocolate on the way out, and it was just an amazing experience. To conclude the conference, I thought it was such an amazing experience. Even though I was super stressed out about studying for my midterms, I really wanted to do a conference like this, but I did want to go into the logistics a little bit about this conference. It was a hundred US dollars to sign up, but you do get pretty much all food included besides one of the dinners that are on your own, and then they did give us a few excursions as well. I personally didn't go to the campus tour or really the farm tour because I go to school here so it didn't really make sense for me to join on that <laughs> tour, but I did go to the Belmont Estate and the local farms, which was amazing. I highly recommend doing a conference wherever you're located, or if you're able to join different conferences that you wouldn't normally do. I chose this conference in particular because as veterinarians we deal so much with parasites, and I feel like it's very important for us to know how to communicate with farmers, even if we aren't working with them directly. But I hope you did enjoy this video. I know this is a little bit of a curveball on what I normally do on the channel, but I feel like it was a very important milestone for me to record as my first veterinary conference of my career, and I'm greatly looking forward to all the other conferences I will do in the future, but I'm so glad I was able to join this one because 
The amount of international people that came to this conference was incredible. I've never seen so many international people in one location, and they all came to the small island of Grenada. I hope you did enjoy this, and if you want to see more things like this, give me a like and subscribe for more, and I will catch you all in the next vlog. Thank you.